college experience, you just can't trade it. There's no monetary value that you could put on that. And, you know, I was talking to one of my buddies the other day, and I was like, can you imagine if we played when the NIL was at? You know, for the, if we played at that time, we would have been getting played, especially like the team that you guys had at Illinois, we'd have been getting paid like NBA guys back then because the university is making so much money and the, just the notoriety was that. So, you know, a, after I left college, I had a chance to have a professional career, 17 years, you know, retired at 40, and I was blessed from that standpoint. But, you know, the game of basketball has changed and the, and the game of life basketball has changed for these players because when I was coming up, I didn't have an entourage. AAU was big, but I didn't have to compete with with parents and my dad didn't have to walk mm. around with eight people and, and and negotiate stuff for me. It was like I played on my skill and my merit and if that earned me a scholarship, that's what I received. So uh, let, let me go back, Tony, because you were you were sharing your experience early in your college career. What was it about San Diego State that rubbed you the wrong way? Was it a off the court experience? Was it the coach? Was it the, play, the players? What was it? At San Jose, you know, we had Coach Barry, you know, Coach oh, Bill San Barry was Jose. a coach. Okay. Yeah, as a very, very militant type of a guy, you know, just, and I play, you know, his son was the main player, Ricky Barry at that time. That's kind of your era as well. You know, he was a great yeah. player coming out. And, yeah. uh, you know, it was just a tough, tough situation uh, with that to play for a coach who was just so militant and didn't really treat us like men, didn't treat us like players. And I just, I just didn't like it. And, you know, it wasn't like I wasn't playing. I was starting, you know, did great. And I just felt there's a better place for me. And I always promised myself, if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to give it my commitment and give it my all. But if it's something that didn't work out for me, I wasn't just going to stay for no reason. So once I left there, went to Nebraska, you know, and it was a whole different thing because when I came out, there wasn't a transfer portal. I didn't put my name into a portal and, you know, get all these calls. As soon as I had made the announcement I was going to transfer, I, I did get a lot of calls and things like that. But I had to go through the process, Steve. I had to figure out if I'm going to go visit this school, that school. You know, my dad was saying go to Oklahoma because that's where he went. But I kind of wanted to create my own lane. 